And six, 60, 16 overs gone and they'll have to do something better than what they have been doing up till now. Yes, you're right. Now, Jishu is the man who can really uh, make things uh, different here for the Bengal Tigers. Goes for a stroke down the ground. Single is long on, cuts it off. And I think that is cleanly struck. That's the safest area to be playing in, uh, in the V. You can understand the kind of concern that uh, is echoed on the faces around the uh, Bengal Tigers dugout because they don't have enough runs on the board. Well, just a beginning of the tournament for them. They can always learn from the mistakes. Well, it's a wild swing and missing it. He's not been able to get his back to the ball. It would be far better if he allowed Jishu to take the strike more often. And uh, look at the, the faces out there. This, they're doing well, but still, they're not too happy with the bowlers as such, it seems. Yes, the captain was uh, there in the dugout. So he says, hang on, I think pretty much under control. The game is pretty much in our control, so I can just take a little break, sit in the dugout. But I have to say, great turnout. Great turnout here at the Kanchanjunga Stadium in Siliguri. Oh, that's cleaned him up. You miss, I hit. Charan keeps the ball up in line with the stumps. And that's the end of a very brief stay that Dave has had at the crease. Well, didn't double the score as face five deliveries without uh, getting a bat to it. This was a wild shot. Still not connecting with the ball. Did manage to hit the off stump and uprooted the stumps. So another wicket falls of a Bengal Tiger. They're in a terrible state at this moment. 63 for seven. Uh, dabbed away by Dave Raj, who's the new man in on strike at the moment. 63 for 7. The Bengal Tigers are struggling in their home game here at Siliguri. They were hoping that uh, they will put up a better show, what, but one has to give full credit to Telugu Warriors. They have stuck to a line, stuck to a length. Good fielding out of the long off and long on. Everything was perfect. Good throwing, but this one did miss the strum conceding an extra run well, every run counts at this stage if you're the Bengal Tigers team I think an opportunity cited by uh, Charan the non-strikers and because Jishu had backed up uh, a fair bit just took a chance there and conceded an extra run but all in all you'll have to say one thing here uh, Rajendra that have seen a fantastic turnout yesterday in uh, Kochi about 75 odd thousand people Today it's a packed house here at uh, Siliguri and it's really catching everyone's imagination is the Kalyan Jewelers Celebrity Cricket League uh, Season 3 really is off to a flying start in this opening weekend. Three point one over still remains and it has to be seen how and uh, they will be able to put up uh, those runs because it's so important to put those whatever runs they can get in the rest of the overs. Really, this go on and score at even six and over. The max that uh, you're looking at is not too much. He's falling from well behind the uh, popping uh, crease is the bowler, Charan. Well, it seems fine as far as the bowlers is concerned. The front foot within the popping crease. 
run rate still not very good and uh, Telugu Warriors are taking all the chances. This was the one they were hoping to get an LBW decision. As a referee last four as well, Rajinder. And it looked pretty uh, pretty cool uh, in terms of pretty good to me. It looked quite in line with middle and leg. Uh, front foot just rooted to the ground. The ball didn't rise too much at all. That looked pretty good indeed. Well, I think they have done a good job. Uh, they have seen where the ball hit. It's very low on the pad. And once you hit at the ankle height and the ball keeping low, and uh, there's always a chance of picking up a wicket. Take a look at the replay again. Now, a little wide of the stumps. That's uh, one thing that the umpire might have kept in mind. But I tell you what, just pitched outside the line of the off stump. Now, this is earlier. This is earlier. Not the one that we are taking a look at earlier. This one is what we're talking about now. Pitch right in line with middle stump. And with that angle, I think would have gone on and hit leg stump. So that's the uh, referral that the uh, Telugu Warriors have asked for. And this looks really plumb indeed. Well, a lot of calls for the third umpire. He has been in, in the action for a very long time. This game, previous game, every game you have, when there's a referral, there's always a chance of uh, going for it. That's also about uh, which referee do you call in to play effectively. It's, it's also a matter of judgment here. It's been uh, a very economical over as far as the um, Telugu Warriors are concerned. They've just conceded two runs so far. In fact, uh, the leg by that they've conceded. Now, this is what the third umpire will take into account. The fact that the batsman had that huge stride forward. But... Look at the bounce on the ball. It's hit him just around the shin area. So really, uh, that takes the bounce element out of the equation. It's about how much the ball had to travel to hit the stumps. Never easy to give LBW decisions, especially when the batsman is standing outside the crease and going forward. Yes, and probably about uh, eight years ago and thereabouts, you probably wouldn't get a leg before decision playing that far on the front foot. Let's see what the uh, third umpire's decision is going to be. Not that it's making a huge difference to the outcome of the game uh, in terms of the momentum. It's out that's been given. So the third umpire rules out as the on-field umpire cancels his earlier decision. So another wicket goes down for the Bengal Tigers as the referral has been upheld. Which means now... The score should, in fact, read 63 for 8. So the end of the over as the last delivery has been missed by the batsman. I'm not going to 
17 overs gone, 63 for 8 Bengal Tigers. <laughs> 